got money to celebrate 722 but no money to build roads. Sarawak should be like Hong Kong Macau using own system and money. The next question I got is got money to celebrate 722 but no money to build roads. I also amused by this question. This is a glass half full. If you look at last few years since 2018, in Sarawak, before that, we had every time you said we want to build roads, you said no money. Now, we got, we got money, but why roads are not built? Project Saki. You know? So it's no longer no money to build roads. It's because we don't have enough capacity, enough contractors, enough builders to build roads because so much money has been allocated. Uh, and according to our premium, is about 1 billion a month, right? So, this is different from 722. 722 is remind us why on that day, Sarawak became independent and it is important for our children to know all this so that they can continue to remind everyone now we've got, we got the knowledge remind everyone what is our agreement 722 Sarawak Day is initiated by James Brook well it's very sad uh, James Brook actually started 1800s right uh, and it's not 722 it's a different birthday last time only celebrate 831 August 31st ah. And now celebrate 722, 22nd July and 916, 16th of September law. Well, Malaysia always have a lot of holidays, ah, you know. But for those of you who get holidays, you never complain. Ah. It's, it, it is the, the boss who complain. Ah. It's called productivity, you know. Well, number one, August 31st is Merdeka Day. It's a celebration of Malaya independence. 22nd July is a celebration of Sarawak independence. 16th of September is a celebration of the formation of Malaysia where four countries come together. It is important as part of Sarawak identity and to make sure that the rest of Malaysia know Sarawak is a country to recognize uh, and, and respect us as Sarawakian. That's why we celebrate 22nd July. Next question, Sarawak should be like Hong Kong, Macau using own system and money. This is a very interesting question, especially when our currency is depreciating, right? And it is something in which legally, constitutionally, and financially deserve to be studied uh, from all sorts of angles, from legal angles, from financial angle as well as how the other countries look at Sarawak because if we said you want to be a ringgit the rest of the world don't want to recognize you how are you going to keep on talking about Sarawak ringgit 